Oh, this is Pastor Don and Donna Long, and once again, here we are with our yes. Jewish Roots portion of Faith for Today. We're glad you joined us. We're in the middle of a series now talking about our upcoming uh, trip to Israel. Israel yeah. uh, this will be our third time talking about it. Uh, the trip itself is scheduled April 30th, which is a Friday. We'll be leaving Boston, and we will be arriving back in Boston uh, Thursday evening, afternoon, uh, May 13th. Yes. Uh, we started out by talking about how we're going to the Shamron, yes. uh, the, what the world calls the West Bank, but God calls it the mountains of Samaria and yes. Judea. We're going to be able to meet with, uh, in about seven communities up there with the people of those communities. Yes. We'll be able to plant trees uh, in fulfillment of biblical prophecy when you yeah. come with us. You're going to go to places. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to go to places that uh, I will be just blunt. Very few tours take them. That's right. Most tours, when they take Christians to Israel, they want to see all the churches in Jerusalem. They they want to go swim in the Mediterranean. Come on, you can swim in any ocean. Although we did do that. Yeah, and you want to you you want they want to go to all these touristy places. Mm -hmm. But but what a shame to to go to Israel and you go to tourist spots and you miss Israel. Mm -hmm. And so when we go, you will meet the land, you'll meet the people, people. you're going to meet the Bible of Israel. That's right. Uh, we start out in, in a lone moray, which is where Abraham received his um, call Calling. and vision That's of right. that whole land belonging right. to him. That's right. uh, we'll go to Shiloh, where the tabernacle was for over almost 400 years. That's yes. longer than our nation has been in existence. Yes. We'll be standing in the presence of where God God's presence was there that's for right. 400 years, and that's His presence right. is still there. It still is. Uh, that's right. We will plant trees. We will we will be part of the people. Then we'll that's go right. up to um, the Galilee, that's where right. Yeshua, Jesus, uh, spent so much of His ministry. That's right. We'll be up in Mount Arbel again, where right. very few tourists will take you up there. But we're going to be on the top of Mount Arbel. When we first started going there, you just kind of walked up that yep. there from the parking lot. Now they've made a little park up there. That's right. But it's uh, it overlooks the entire Sea of Galilee. That's right. And many of us believe that's where Yeshua went in the mountain when, yes, to pray. Yes, whenever it says that he went to pray, when he went set himself apart to pray. And then we go up to the Golan, yes. which is this just the Israelis have turned it into a just a fertile, 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 a plateau mm -hmm. with vineyards and crops growing. Just a contrast to what the Arab world had done with everything being decimated. Uh, the Israelis came into it and the land yes. responded to yes. them because they are God's people and That's the right. land responds to them. That's right. And so we'll be up in the Golan, we'll be uh, in the synagogue uh, where uh, Yeshua, Yeshua preached. That's right. We'll be in Peter's house. Yes, where, we got in Capernaum. Where yes. Peter's uh, mother, mother in law was healed. Was healed. That's uh, right. We'll be there in, yep. in just a, a great time. We're going yep. to get to meet some of our. Hasidic friends. One thing we did not mention in our last time in, in Tiberias, we will go to, yes, the, to the kindergarten to the Hasidic Chabad. Chabad Lubavitch kindergarten, yes. which we help support them. We we help them be able to fund those little children. You say, well, why why are you helping uh, you know the the Hasidic Jews? Well, their goal is to get children out of a secular environment and bring them into a community where they'll start learning Learn Torah. Torah. You know, right. I can think of no better place that you're going to meet Jesus <laughs> that's right. than if you'll start opening the Bible because he's that's in there. Right. And so uh, that's a delight. Last yes, year we spent, is. I think. Maybe 45 minutes there. Everybody said time. they want to spend, spend a couple hours there. The children. the children are just such a delight. Yeah, that's right. Then uh, we ended up last week talking about going down to Jerusalem. Yes. And we'll be at the Western Wall, and we get to walk around the on the top of the walls yes. around the old city. Again, something that tours that have a hundred or more yes, people can't do. That. There's too that's many right. of them. Uh, we try to keep our tour between 15 and 25 people so that it's we can do that's more, right. we can see more. Uh, we'll get to do that. Yes, we uh, will. We'll get to meet some of our Jewish friends. While we're uh, in there, we also will have an opportunity. Uh, we're planning to be at Bridges for Peace, That's right. which is a Christian organization that is one of the largest feeding organizations uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, we'll get to see their distribution center where yes. uh, we, we help feed uh, poor people who've, who've made Aliyah, they've immigrated to Israel, many of them from Russia, That's but right. they don't have enough money to make ends meet. They don't yet know the Hebrew language. They may not have skills they need. And we partner with Bridges for Peace and they have a new program we're working on, hopefully going to put in place this year mm -hmm. where we can spend uh, a night in, in groups of two or three of us, mm -hmm. uh, we can spend an evening meal 
with a Jewish family in Jerusalem. That's right. And uh, this is, I mean, this That'll is just going to be so exciting. That's right. To be in the city of God. And, and we do go to, I mean, when we say we don't go where people normally go, I mean, a, a few of the places we do go. We do right. go to the Garden of Gethsemane. We yes. do go to the tomb, you right. know, where, where they in do. In fact, we, we have a communion service yes, we have at, a communion the, service at the Garden at the, Tomb, and, yes. and that's always a highlight. Yes. Uh, but, you know, it's funny, when we're at those places, and, it, and they are meaningful to us, the yes. Garden Tomb, but suddenly when we get to those places, many mm -hmm. times we've been there and there's just mobs of tourists. Mm -hmm. And I think you know that how many people, that's all they go to these right. so-called holy places, but they miss the fact that Jesus was Jewish. That's right. And these are his people. Those are his people. And right. he's coming back to live as a Jew. That's right. <laughs> in Jerusalem. And we're, we're paving that way. We're, right. we're making those connections. That's right. But this year, I think we've got some new things for us this year. Yes. Not only that will they be new for our tour, but they're going to be uh, new to us. Uh, we are going to go down into the Negev. The Negev is the desert area south of the Dead Sea. Yes. Uh, it's, you know, when people say, well, how much land does Israel have? <laughs> Israel as a nation isn't much bigger than... Oh, uh, I don't know, then Rural Delaware Island. or something, yeah. New Jersey. Yeah. And, and a large part of that is in the desert. But the mm -hmm. Israelis know how to make great settlements in the desert. Yes, they do. So on our, on our tour this time, we're planning to go to one of those new settlements there and see how they're doing and sure. see how that's developing. Yeah. We're going to go to En Gedi. We're going to go to Beersheba. The yeah. Bible talks it's about, about Beersheba, the, yeah. the land going from Beersheba all the way up to the north. That's Beersheba right. is where Abraham was. Uh, so we're going to see some new communities for us uh, historically in terms of biblical roots. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to go to Masada. Yes. Uh, we've never been to, Masada, been to Masada, but Masada is a place where when Rome uh, conquered Israel and it was, it killed literally hundreds of thousands of Jewish people were killed, that there were zealots who lived up on this mountaintop fortress at Masada, and uh, they held out against the Romans for, I, I want to say it was four or five years before mm -hmm. Rome finally was able to, to breach uh, the walls of Masada. Right. But Masada is also where uh, the young elite in the Israeli a defense force take their vows uh, to the country to yes. defend the country, and That's it's right. it's really an exciting place. And in fact, uh, mentioning you know the IDF, yes. uh, we always plan to stop at one of the IDF outposts and get to meet the young Israelis, yes. uh, young Israeli men and women who are in service to their country. Uh, everyone serves the country somehow. I mean, uh, in in t some capacity, every mm -hmm. Israeli. Uh, but you'll also meet in there, you'll meet uh, Jews from other nations that go and serve uh, right. in that. And, and we have found out that uh, it's even possible for Gentiles to connect with the Israeli Defense Force and work on their base or do things like that. I know my, my daughter Jordan's been very interested over the years in yes. what can she do to be part of assisting God's army, the Israeli army. That's right. And you meet these young people and, and this, you know, you may have heard things in the news. You may have seen things yes. on TV. I'll tell you, until you go to Israel That's right. and you sit down and you look in the eyes of these, these young Israeli men and women, all they want to do is live in peace. That's right. All they want to do is live in peace. Uh, if the Arabs would lay down their weapons and, and stop firing rockets into their country and stop trying to blow them up, That's right. the Israelis would live in peace with them in a, in a heartbeat. Uh, they right. bend over backwards. To, to try to establish peace. And these young men and women right. are prepared to lay their life down yes, for their country, are. but they're hoping they don't they see don't it as it. a burden. They see it as an honor and a privilege Absolutely. to be able to serve their country. We were, we were in fact, in, in Branson. You remember that? Yes. Uh, this was several years ago at a, at a prayer conference, and there were, um, I want to say, maybe three, 4,000 mm -hmm. uh, Christians at this meeting. And one night was a Honor Israel night. Yes. And we had a group of uh, young people, probably I want to say maybe 13 through 18, mm -hmm. from Ariel up in the Shamron. We we go to Ariel, they were dancers. and they were dancers. And so they uh, they they sang, they danced uh, Israeli dances for us, and it was just a thrill seeing these young people so filled with life. Uh, and then at the end of their concert, yes. uh, the leader, the host of the conference itself. Uh, brought up one of the young girls and announced to us that this young girl was leaving, I think, the next day or two days from then because she had turned 18 and she needed to go back to Israel to start her military 
training. That's right. And when that was said, the entire three or four thousand right. Christians stood, stood to up. our feet and applauded. applauding her. That's right. And she looked absolutely puzzled. And, and she turned and said to the interpreter, why, why are they applauding? That's right. And the answer was because you as a young woman are, are going to go serve your country. And she said, all young Israelis serve our country. Right. And she, our she couldn't understand that for them it's a privilege. It's it's, a privilege. It's, they're going to have the honor they love their of loving their country, defending their country if that's, that's right. required. That's right. And they're great people so we're going to have opportunity to meet some. Right. I think in fact at one point we'll be at a lunch stop where there's uh, Israeli soldiers right. that we can meet and talk. Right. We stop at Everybody the base. Everybody likes to have their pictures taken with the idea. Absolutely. <laughs> have your picture taken with them right. and, and get to meet. Uh, once again, you're, you're meeting the people. So we're going to have uh, that kind. We're also, we're hoping to get down to Sederot. Yes. Sederot is, is one of the last uh, Israeli communities as you head towards Gaza. That's right. And it's been a place where rockets have been fired from Gaza into Cedro. It's it's right. a it's a miracle of God. And in yes, fact it was it a miracle of God back in when the Israelis were living in Gaza in itself. Gaza because they had that <laughs> hundreds of rockets were fired into that's their right, settlements constantly and, no and people was, were not killed. It was miraculous. And that's the same thing going on in Cedro, but uh, we we will be taking those of us who want to do it that day, we're that's gonna right. drive down to Cedro and just get to meet the people. That's right. To meet people who who all the, again, all they want to do is live, live in, in peace. peace. And they're in the land of Israel. They're in the land right. that, that the United Nations says is the land of Israel. Right. Nobody doubts that Sederot is in anything other than the land of Israel. That's and right. all these people want to do is live in their own land safe. That's right. And yet every week rockets are being fired from another place, Gaza, into mm -hmm. their land. That's right. I mean, how would you feel if, if you know, some terrorist group took over New Hampshire mm -hmm. and every week was firing rockets into Fitchburg? I mean, how long That's would right. we put up with that before That's we right. would demand that our government go into That's New right. Hampshire and wipe out every one of those people That's firing right. rockets? That's right. I mean, that is totally unacceptable right. in any other nation in the world. And yet somehow when it comes to Israel, there are people just trying to live in peace, but they have enemies who fire rockets at them. Right. And many times they feel abandoned by the world. Yes, they do. And so one of the benefits that we find when we go there is we like to mix with the people because yes. they absolutely love to have us there. It's an encouragement. And I can guarantee you that when we show up in Cedar Road That's right. and we get to meet people there, they are going to be absolutely awed that right. that we didn't come to go to Tel Aviv, to the great cosmopolitan city. We didn't come to go down to En Gedi so we can relax and sit on the beaches yes. and, and enjoy the warm or sun. Go to the Dead Sea that we just did, float on the... Right. We, we, we didn't go to the great shopping malls that are right. around, but rather that we've come to the villages and the cities of the people That's right. where a lot of people are avoiding going there. That's right. And we'll show up and what a witness for Yeshua it's going that's to right. be. That's right. Because that's what we'll tell them. They'll say, because they will ask oh, they'll us know this. We're but they'll say, <laughs> why are you here? That's right. And our answer is because our rabbi Yeshua said that if we love you, we've loved him. That's right. And so it's in his name that, that we love you. That's so right. that's the kind of tour that's right. uh, that we do. Uh, yeah. Israel is a place that will change you. That's right, it will. You so let me let me give my personal story about that. You know when yes. when when my <laughs> wife first went, uh, she felt God was saying that she needed to go to Israel with Billy Brim and she went, I think there was probably 50, 60 people on that trip. Mm -hmm. And so she went, I said, that's good, you go ahead. And, and to be honest, I never really wanted to go to Israel. No, you didn't. I mean, every time I heard about people going to Israel and they'd come back and they'd talk about what they did and they went to St. So-and-So's church and St. So-and-So's church and mm -hmm. it seemed that all they did was went to these religious Christian shrines and they went around and, and uh, I, I, I called it maybe to some people it probably sounded a little sacrilegious but mm -hmm. I used to call it a Jesus, Jesus trinket tour. Mm, right. I didn't want to go on a Jesus trinket tour. You know, this is where this is where Jesus did this, this is where Jesus did that. And in most cases, we don't know. That's right. You know, so you know, they're just trying to get you excited about the all these crazy things mm -hmm. and and you know, you fly in, you're there for 5 days, you fly out. 
I, I just didn't want to do that. But she came back with such an enthusiasm for the people That's right. that I can remember the next year the opportunity came to go, and so we decided we would all go. And there was excitement, That's right. but I was not prepared for Israel. That's right. And 